Hi, welcome to HR Tuesday Tips with the Miller. I'm Lori Miller and this is Janine Brown Miller. And today we're going to be focusing on this new generation that's going to be hitting our workforce in 2020. So Janine, let's talk about Gen Z that is coming. So talk about their demographics. Okay, this is really interesting when I was doing the research on this. I noticed that many of the, um, the employers complain about high turnover, specifically mm -hmm. among their younger employees. So I'm always interested to help them determine why that might happen. So who are they and what do they expect? Generation Z are typically a generation that's highly skeptical, mm -hmm. inclined to research everything they hear, and are not impressed with fancy titles. They desire collaborations mm -hmm. as a preferred work style. They expect your business to be high tech as well, because you have to keep in mind they, they know nothing else. Mm -hmm. Such employees were born after 1999. They have experienced a great deal of economic uncertainty. So when they come to you, they do expect better pays than we've mm -hmm. had to worry about in the past. They enjoy volunteering, and many of them have traveled around the world, mm -hmm. more so than previous generations. Mm -hmm. So they definitely have a, a more um, broad-based perspective. In the workplace, they expect practical rewards, such as gas cards, mm -hmm. uh, student loan reimbursements, mm -hmm. extra time off, because mm -hmm. they're real worried about their balance, work-life work mm -hmm. balance. So when you're hiring and seeking to retain, or, I'm sorry, retain such employees, consider the differences in their perspectives because it will mean the difference between retaining and losing mm -hmm. such employees. But I would like to really talk a little bit about the training because I think it requires us to have a different headset when they come into our workplace. So Definitely. You um, you've got a variety of individuals that are currently working in your organization. We got the veterans, we got baby boomers, Generation X and Generation Y, and now Generation Z. We have a responsibility to make sure that we understand their motivations, their needs, um, some of the rewards and, and, and other things that they enjoy within the workplace. So I would encourage all the organizations to do some type of generational training within their workplace. One for all employees so they can build better rapport with each other, also with the customers that you're serving, and also for your management work group. How do they motivate? How do they inspire? How do they lead? How do they coach? I do a whole training on generational communication, and we're now going to be incorporating to mm -hmm. Generation Z, so you understand the unique characteristics and demographics. It will help with the selection and the retention process to make sure you're meeting all of their needs and all of their differences. So hopefully that will give you some insight uh, on Generation Z as we continue to coach and guide you as our clients. Uh, we're going to make sure that we provide continuous information so you understand this demographics. Um, when we get together the next time, we're going to be finishing up this series of HR sensitive issues. And we're actually going to be taking a look at teamwork in the workplace. So sit back, relax, we got this.